Okay, I'm showing you how to allow, you know, files to be stored in the cloud and then store those URL you get back from those into your into your spreadsheet database. Okay, and, the, and, and we're using this MediaDB component, which allows us to upload files and get URLs back. But it doesn't work just with Thunkable. You've got to use a third party tool called Cloudinary. Okay, and in fact, um, in the designer with MediaDB, you have to set these settings or nothing's going to work. Okay. If you've done any Firebase stuff with Thunkable, it's the same kind of thing. You've got to basically give it some, some user specific information to get to get to your thing. So first thing you got to do is go to cloudinary.com. So I'm going to open a new window and it's called cloudinary.com. And what you're going to want to do is sign up for free. Okay. And when you do that, actually, I think this is, sorry, when I'm, I'm already, I already have an account, so it brought brought me here. Um, if I showed this to you, I just want to show you the sign in. If I go to cloudinary.com in a different browser where I'm not signed in, um, I can say sign up for free and you're going to have to enter all your information here. Okay. Um, once you enter that information, you'll have a Cloudinary account. It's free. Okay. And you can actually store quite a bit of data there. Okay. Um, but you'll end up with a, the, a dashboard that looks like this and it's very simple. You don't have to do much at Cloudinary, but you're gonna need to grab this cloud name, this key, and this secret. You know, for instance, I'm gonna grab the name, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm gonna stick that back into my Thunkable app. You know, here's my cloud name for MediaDB. And it's a little confusing because this is called MediaDB and the actual service is called Cloudinary, okay? But MediaDB Cloudinary. All right, so I'm also going to grab the API key um, and stick that in. And of course, I need you to do the secret too, but I'm not going to show you that part um, at, at this point right, right now. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to pause. I'm going to finish that out. So I'm going to set all these settings. And then once I do that, my app should, should work. Okay, so um, let's see. How do you pause? Pause. Record. Okay, so I just finished my, you know, put my settings into the MediaDB. I'm not showing it because for privacy reasons, obviously I don't want you to have my secret key. Um, but anyway, you got to make sure those three settings are set to these three settings at Cloudinary. Once you do that, your app should be able to run, right? Um, we ask this question, we upload to Cloudinary. If things are good, it gives, gives us back URL. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it in action. So I've got my phone running the app. And so this is just a project on the right. Here's a projection of my phone screen. Okay. I'm going to click on live test just to make sure I've got the newest um, version of the app. And uh, here on my phone, there it is. It's running the app. So I've got these four items. I'm going to click on plus. <coughs> I'm going to uh, add a new person. I would love to have, oh, sorry. Let me move it so you can see what's, what's happening here. Um, I would love to have Raphael Warnock in, in my class, the new Georgia Senator. Okay. And I'm not sure if I'm spelling this exactly right, but I'll do, do my best. Raphael Warnock. Um, he's a Senator from Georgia. And instead of entering an image URL, I'm going to choose an image. <coughs> oh, in my photos, I have Raphael there. Okay. And you're going to wait just a second. And basically what, what happened was the app. So let me bring up um, Thunkable again. What the app did was they took the picture I chose and it got sent to Cloudinary with this upload and I got a URL back <coughs> and I stuck that URL, you know, into the image URL. So, so I, I haven't really stored this data yet. But let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to touch submit on my phone here. Okay, let me touch submit. And when I do that, it should stick something into the into the spreadsheet. Okay. And <coughs> um, right now, let's see what my blocks do. I don't know if I added what I needed to do. Yeah, I, I should have. Oh, there it goes. So once it uploaded, um, what I what I uh, it it did its work and you'll notice Raphael is now in, and it got submitted and it navigated me back to screen screen one. 
Okay. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. So Raphael is 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 input here. Um, so I think things are things are working fine. Um, if we go look at our spreadsheet, so everything's based on our database, which is just a Google Sheets. And notice Raphael is now there. There's the Cloudinary URL that got sent back to us from Cloudinary, and I think we put in Senator. Um, so anyway, very important that you know this MediaDB component is so powerful, and it only takes a second to set things up on Cloudinary. Um, and all of a sudden you got a way to do apps where you, the user posts information, whether it's images or sound clips and well, as well as text, right? Um, you know, so you need the spreadsheet, you know, to store everything, but some of those things can be URLs, which your app takes care of generating using Cloudinary. 